Good morning, everybody. This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're back in the potatoes this morning. It's still cold down here, guys. Believe it or not, in the south, we're in the low uh, mid 40s this morning. So, uh, which is good for the garden. Uh, but we're digging our French fingerlings. They're pretty much dying out. The weeds is taking over. And uh, man, I learned a lesson right off the bat with French fingerlings. The potatoes. <laughs> or not right under the plant. Some of them have runners that long. I'm finding them off out in the middle of the row. Yeah, it's going to make digging these a lot more challenging. Now I like them because they're they're good sized fingerling potatoes, but I can tell right now it's going to take me a lot longer to dig them than it usually does because I got to find them and I kind of got a feeling that I'm probably going to damage more than I usually do because I don't know where they're at. They could be anywhere with those long runners out there. So we're going to start off here way out in the edge of the row out here just to see where we're, if we're finding anything. And just like I suspected, we've got some out here. Now we got some that's got some green on them. We'll probably save those for seed potatoes or something. But they go pretty deep in the ground. Nice potatoes. And these, like the others, have sprouts starting on them. And that's kind of bothering us because I think maybe they might have been in the ground too long. I don't know. I hope it don't affect them. But look, look at this for a French Look at that for a French. Yeah, it actually has a potato plant coming out of the end of it where it was reaching for the I want sun. to put it in a, in something and grow. Huh? I want to put it in something. I mean, look at that. That joker's just... That's mine. Huge. We're going to plant this one. I'm going to see what happens. Because see, well, that's where the plant See, well, You see what's bothering me, though? See all these white nodes? All of them. The they eyes. look like the eyes are trying to sprout. Every one of them. So we got to do something with these quick. Let's see if we can get one up here. Oh, there's one just rolled off out there on the side of the row. <laughs> I'm going to try to ease on this plant here. I want to show you that what I'm talking about, about the, the long tubers. Look right here. See how long these are? Look at them. Look how long. That makes them way away from the plant. So you got to really be careful. And while I'm digging these, I want to show you all you see these right here? These are cutworms. They're all in our potato plants here. And that's one reason we want to go ahead and dig and stop this cycle right now before it even gets any further. The plants are, are plenty mature enough to do this. We're trying to stop insect cycles now. See these beetles right here? Look at them. We're already seeing them start. I usually take ahead of time. I go ahead and try to get rid of them. That looks like a cucumber beetle right there. We don't want anything like that getting started in our gardens here. That's one thing about a cool morning. It makes it a lot easier to capture these insects. Let's see here. That, that's French fingerlings now. Look at that. I'm already in love with these, I can tell you. I know I'm in love with them. The Look taste was awesome. The taste was awesome. The size is awesome. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, that is just fantastic right there. I can tell you right now, this will be one of our go-to potatoes in the future. Oh, there's another one of them worms right there. <laughs> right there. I mean, same kind of worm. Look at this here. Oh, wow. Look at them. They're all just laying right out there in one big pile. Some of them. Some of them may be everywhere. Look at that. Boy, we try to get our weeds as we go too, guys. That's another thing. It takes us a little time to do something. We we are weeding at the same time that we're actually digging. Because we're going to plant right behind this. And look, when I pull that plant out of the way, look right there. There's another one. This tells me these cool mornings are time to get rid of these bugs. And it's time to dig these potatoes now. Look at that. Look at the potatoes. Two more. Next one you're going to have to count. Yeah, we haven't been counting. That's one thing we haven't done. 
We're just impressed with the French fingerlings. I've the already... taste, the size. Yeah. And the production. The production so far is outstanding. They've, they've beat the Norlands by 100% already. Yeah. Forget Norlands, we're at French fingerlings all the way. We're going to start way off out here in the row. Look at here. I'm going to show you. Look how long that runner is. And look, and look at, at the that. size. Look wow. at that. That's bigger than most of the Norlands. That was bigger than most of the Red Norlands. Yeah, I almost hit that one with a fork. I'm trying to get deep too because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to mess up any potatoes. Oh wow! Let me just ease it along here and get rid of some of these weeds here. Here's, I'm just going to lay them out as I get to them. Whoa. Okay, guys, we've got seven potatoes right here off of the red, uh, the, the red French fingerling. And this is all we really planted right here was this little piece of a potato right here. Let me see if I can get it off the plant. Oh, you still got some of the eyes growing. That's all we planted right there was one little piece that had one eye on it right there. And we got that many potatoes and we're telling you about the tubers look how long some of the the tubers stick out there they stick out there pretty far it's got some nice potatoes got two really good sized ones and then two really average sized ones and then three small ones these are the kind that we like to put in with uh, green beans or if we're canning green beans or English peas, you can throw a few of them in with a jar of English peas or something like that, and, and, and uh, they do really good with them. Uh, you might also want to go back and check out our video where we did the taste test on the potatoes. Uh, we dug some early and did a taste test. These were amazing. Out of all the 11 different varieties of potatoes we planted, there was two of them. The ones that we saved from our own homestead here that was really good and the French fingerlings. The French fingerlings was, was probably our best out of all of them that we bought. Now, we do have a few whites that we haven't tried in the taste test yet because they weren't ready, but uh, we know the French fingerlings is gonna be a winner here at Deep South Homestead. All right, guys, we're gonna take one more here and let's just check one more and then we're gonna go on digging. Okay. I'm just amazed at the size. They beat the white Russians actually in size. In size, they beat the white Russians, yes, yes. Wow. Um, let me throw that back out of the way. Okay, so, so far, let me get all these weeds out of here. We gotta get out here with a tiller as soon as we get through with this and get this all tilled up. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Ooh, watch, 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 right there. Look at that. Eight. There's eight. Wow, I see another video coming with our counting. Make sure we ain't got none out in the rows out here. Ooh. Nine. Did that one come off this plant? Ah, uh, it could have. We know eight so far. Okay. We're going to say this We're one. We're going to say it was eight. This one may have came that from That one that may have came off from over there. So we got eight this time. And look at this. They're all. Big. All of them but two. We got two mediums. They're still big. <laughs> They're still pretty good size. We got one, two, three, four, five, six mediums, and then uh, six large, and then two medium ones. Off one plant. One plant. Now look, I, I want to show you all something. <laughs> look at this. I've only one. I've only done uh, maybe four or five plants. Five. Five. Yes. And I've already harvested a quarter of as many of these as I did the Red New Orleans off of a 90-foot row. We're excited. All right. As y'all seen, we dug this one first 15 feet of row. Second row, 
we didn't get quite as many. Probably got three quarters as many on the second row as we did the first row. The second row, the rows on in were more intense gardening. We planted our rows on two foot centers. So we're thinking the outside row probably may have had uh, more growing room or something. The reason we got a few more out of it. But nevertheless, the second row for 15 feet did pretty fair. Now we're fixing to go into another row and check it out and see just how it performs. And I can tell you right now, Wanda and I are sold on the French Fingerlands. They will be a part of Deep South Homestead from this point forward. I, I can't say enough good about them right now. They're really performing outstanding. Okay guys, we just finished digging the third part of a row, uh, 15 foot row. Here we've got 45 feet of row dug so far. And we've already got a five gallon bucket full of the French fingerlings. Oh. We are excited now because we've still got 30, 60, 90 more feet of row to go here. So we've already got more off of a 45 foot row of French fingerlings than we did off of the whole 90 foot row of the uh, Red New Orleans. So the French fingerlings will be a thing of the future for us, like we said a while ago. And Travis and Greg, if you're watching this from Hoss Tool, go ahead and put us down for next year because we're going to want to get some from you again next year if we're not able to save our own seed from this year. We may, we're going to try actively try to save some of these and keep them rolling here at Deep South Homestead so we can acclimate them even more to our climate. But um, Hoss Tool has been amazing with their seed potatoes this year. Uh, now, like I said, the Red Norland probably does good. We've, a lot of our comments in that video, people up north, they've done good for them. People in heavy clay soils said they've done good for them. Down south here in our heat may just be the climate, you know, what we can, can see. We're just not used to that kind of performance out of a red potato. Now, the French fingerlings is just that. They are a fingerling, but they're a large fingerling. I mean, these are nice, and the taste is is phenomenal. I mean, I can't say enough about the taste. So we're going to stop right here, and we're going to move over now. We have two more rows of the White Crescent. We're going to see how much we get on the White Crescent in a... 15 foot area on them also compared to the Red New Orleans because the White Crescent is a fingerling potato also. And I don't, I don't expect it to be as big as this one because it wasn't when we planted it. But the taste on the White Fingerling was just about as good as this one here. So we're fixing to jump over and start digging them. We're over here with the White Crescents now. And yes, the plants still look a little green, but Guys, we're getting such a heavy bug infestation here at Deep South Homestead. In our heat, we've learned once this starts happening, get it out. Get it out fast before the bugs have a chance to cycle. So far, we've never had a total infestation of bugs in our potatoes, simply because we do that. And plus, the heat is fixing to hit us pretty hard here in the next week or two. And we need this ground for our uh, sweet potatoes. So, the thing to do is to get all this out now while we have time. It's cool weather. Let's get these things out of here. Let's get the ground ready. Get rid of the insect population and get ready for our uh, sweet potatoes to go in so that we have plenty of time to do a great harvest on sweet potatoes as well. Now these are the white crescents. Let's just check and see what we got going on. Now they're going to be a lot like the white Russians that we had. They're not going to be a huge uh, potato. We can see this is what we like. These things have the greatest taste. They're almost like peanuts. You put some in the basket here. I mean, the thing about it is they're just right on top of the ground. You didn't count those. Well, I didn't count them. Well, they're the first ones in the basket, so. This is true. Is that one plant or two? This was two plants right here. Okay. And I'm not keeping everything, guys. I mean, we we have some, like this one here, 
it got green on the end and it's trying to sprout. That one's already got little potato plants coming out of it. We throw these back into the soil because you know what? There's lots of times we have potatoes that come up in our garden all summer long here. And some make it, some don't. Next year when we plow this ground, these will just come right back up again. So that's another reason we do what we do is because sometimes they acclimate. Now I'm going to continue to move around here a little bit because these are unlike the, uh, the French fingerlings. These do not have long runners on them that put them way out in the middles of the rows. These are predominantly just right up under the plants on top of the ground up here. Almost like peanuts. They're almost like peanuts. They're yeah. right there under the... They're just right up under the plant. And you'll see a lot of these... You shake the dirt off of them. There we go. I mean, some of them are nice. Some of these like this, and we'll just throw the little ones back. Now, these were planted a lot more intense than the Red New Orleans were because we knew from experience that... Uh, that these will not uh, run all out in the rows. They don't get as big and stuff like that. So we planted these a lot closer together. Now let's just see here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one didn't quite make it. That's eight. Nine. Let's see if I, any more of them fall out of there. Nope. Yeah. Huh? Right there. Well, that was one I come off the other plant I threw back. Oh, okay. So, so we got nine off of this one. And this one right here I'm probably going to throw back because it's just tiny. But let's just say we got eight good ones off of that one. Almost the same amount we got off of the red, uh, nor I mean the um, red French fingerlings. But they're a lot smaller. And these are so creamy and buttery tasting. It's amazing, guys. They are well worth the effort. Let's just pull one out right here real easy. Shake it off. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a little one that didn't make it. Okay, guys, we were noticing the further up in the garden we went, we got into some better soil because I came in here and dumped several bucket loads of uh, dirt out of our trash piles that we had sifted through. Some good black rich dirt in this sand. And we're getting up into that area and the potatoes are a lot better once we got away from the end of the row down here. So soil does make a difference with these as far as their production is concerned. Now we, we're getting on up in here now. We're going to start... We dig up a couple of these here. Kind of see what we... There's one there just laying on top of the ground. The, produ the production is a little bit better. Once you get up into some better soil, you get a little bit better potatoes out of them. Pull them back real easy and not lose all of them. See, we're getting a little bit better potatoes up here. There's still a lot of small ones, but I think the soil is teaching us that we need to do a little bit more amending in our soil, trying to get some good, uh, some good rich dirt mixed in with our sandy soil here. And I think if we can do that, see, we still got some of the sticks from the trash pile. I think if we can do that, we will, uh, I think we'll end up with, with better potatoes. Because see, like this, look at that. Let's see what we got here. Let's get these things out of the way. We got that. Got several good ones on this one. It's another reason we're digging. The ends of them are starting to turn green. Uh, get a little sun exposure. We're going to be rushed around and lost them here if we don't because see the plant's dead. Guys, we got just, a, I'm going to say, got just about as much off of the, uh, 
The white crescents here is we did the uh, French fingerlings on the inside row there. And there's, once we got inside, I mean, they're nice potatoes. I mean, we can't complain. So they've done just about as good. So we're happy with that. We got one more piece of a row to go right here to see how it plays out because it's a very end row next to the fence right here. I don't look for it to do as well, but we're going to dig it and see just how well it does. Okay, guys, we've uh, started to get hot out here, so we're going to kind of like call it quits for right now. But the white, uh, white potatoes here, the uh, white crescents, we dug, uh, let's see, 15, 30, 60 feet a row, and we've got three quarters of a five gallon bucket full of the white crescents. We've dug 45 feet a row and got a full bucket of the French fingerlings. So that's going to end it for us today. We'll pick up the video at a later date and see how much we actually end up with with a total harvest. But this is where we're at so far. Uh, we had to stop. We've got English peas that's got to be shelled. we got squash that's got to be canned. English peas got to be canned. Guys, we got a lot of stuff that's got to be canned, and the day's getting late, so we don't want to be up into the night doing canning, so we decided to go ahead and uh, just quit. We'll finish digging tomorrow. Uh, it's not going to hurt them to set one more day. Okay, guys, we have finished digging our fingerling potato garden. We got right at 80 pounds of the French fingerlings, and we are so satisfied with them. I mean, look at this. I mean... Look in there. Nice sized potatoes. I mean, fantastic. Got, what, three? Three, three and buckets. a half buckets of uh, the French fingerlings. The crescents, I mean, look at this. Look at them things. Nice. I mean, you can see a lot, all of them are nice potatoes in there. And thus the name crescent. They look like a crescent roll. <laughs> uh, we got about 30 pounds of them. We got a bucket and a half, which is about 30 pounds. So we're very pleased with them. We've actually ate both of these already for our meals. And this, these two varieties are varieties that we will keep. Uh, this one specifically, the French fingerling, is the best. I mean, that, the only thing that beats is our own potatoes we've saved here. And, and it's not really that much of a comparison at that point. But uh, these were really well. The Crescents and the White Russians run a very close race for being almost identical. So that's the end of the Fingerling Garden right here. Now comes the time to, <coughs> excuse me, now comes the time to fertilize it, till it, and let's get some sweet potato draws in the ground. We've already got one row of sweet potatoes over here. This is the white ones. We're going to plant some more white ones here. And we're going to see if we can't get us a nice sweet potato garden following the fingerling garden. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.